Ah, uh, okay. It's always so weird when you get back into streams. After not doing it for a few weeks, I feel so out of place, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Level 1 with skin is weird, yeah. Um, I've done a tiny bit of playing just to kind of get an idea, and honestly, <laughs> I don't know if I prefer it. If I don't prefer it, I guess we'll find out by the time I run through this whole thing. How is my arm? My arm is okay. I've kind of been out of commission with this whole, like, little wristband today. and Or not today, but like the last couple of weeks. I mean, I guess maybe a little bit today, but uh, today is the day that I unleash the beast, because we don't need this shit anymore. We have an awakening uh, save file here, and if I load this up and I just go to pause really quick, thank you Bubba for the 50 bits. Um, and we also have this little scan ability here, because Hyper SR, one of my mods slash cool people that I talked to, hooked me up with a little save file that I can actually see enemies HP for this whole playthrough now. And making save files with the scan ability is going to make that much easier to demonstrate like what's actually going on in the game's mind. Yo Red, thank you for the 888 bits. 888 pog champs, excuse me. Uh, we're going to play through this whole thing with scan. And this is, I mean the command kind of says it all anyway, but there's really nothing I've added to this, aside from just the scan ability. This is purely just to kind of make or build save files. So I actually can make a video later on, and I figured if I'm going to make the save files, I may as well stream, you know, the process of that. Plus, uh, you'll get my first reactions to certain things, like how the hell does Genie deal damage and stuff, and a lot of things that don't really quite make sense, so... So, uh, yeah, should I actually- should I try to beat this dude? <laughs> should I actually try to beat Darkseid because it's like a special, like, casual- You know what, fuck it, we'll do it. <laughs> Why not? I hit you in the face, because I don't like you. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Because I don't have the EXP level up you would normally get in regular, standard, and proud. And I also don't have the sword, so my damage is complete shit. And, I mean, that's- that's fine, I guess. <laughs> oh god, how do I even do this? Uh, oh, what is happening? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I can't tell where the orbs are and stuff. Oh my god, I got a parry. No, uh, okay. <laughs> I thought I died from that. Okay, we won the first fight of the game. That's 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 good. <laughs> what do you get from beating this guy? Absolutely nothing. But since I'm not speedrunning, I can assert dominance by actually winning the fight. <laughs> Am I doing a full playthrough or just kind of any percent? Honestly, I think I'll just do any percent stuff, and then I'll work on strictly- I, I mean, it depends how I feel. What should we name this raft, dude? You guys- what do you guys think? <laughs> what would be a nice spicy meme for this, uh, casual playthrough? Let's name it Penis. Yeah, that's- uh, that is a funny name. Your mom? Scam train? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Monkasteer. Actually, I think I like Monkasteer a lot. I don't think that fits, though. It's been so long since I've actually done something that isn't default. I don't think this is gonna fit. That's what she said. Oh my god, it fits perfectly! We gotta use this. <laughs> wow, I didn't think that would actually fit. That's crazy. There we go, perfect. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Bubba, for the 100 pog champs. <laughs> ah, yes. How about Monka's Steer? Someone screen cap this. Actually, no, I'm probably blocking the fucking thing, aren't I? Son of a bitch. Uh, quick, somebody screen cap that. There you go. <laughs> okay, that's good. My favorite thing to do when I'm playing this game casually is this. Th this rock right here, they don't tell you this, but this rock is actually made of a very special material and it's not actually made of stone. So if you can, if you kind of position yourself very, very precisely, I, I never remember how this works, but there's a little secret you can do where if you kind of get stuck like this, BAM! <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid, like, I mean, that's meant to be like a soft lock protection <laughs> in case Sora gets like stuck somewhere, but it's just so comical, like Sora's shoes are so huge, it breaks the rock, it's crazy. Maybe I'll go back and do some like, you know, busting it up on the beach with like the FF group and Riku at a later time just to kind of showcase stuff, but I mean, who cares, man? I don't want to do the hardest fight in the game, which is literally uh, Selfie, Titus, and Waka 1v3. Totally doing a run? <laughs> Maybe. Dude, Waka is an actual cheater though. This dude like throws his blitz ball and it comes back and he's like on the airship and stuff. It's so stupid. <laughs> you can see how much damage those uh, orbs get, like orbs deal to the dude when I actually get the parry proper. That's why getting those parries is so important because your strength is really not the best with that. Okay, well, pretty standard for that, I guess. 
But Mist, you're playing proud mode. Yes, good one, dude. Yeah, Firefox, I agree. Seeing health bars is, like, really, really messing with me. Uh, <laughs> a part of me almost wants to turn off skin because it just it doesn't feel right, and I just kind of want to trust my instincts on how, how far along I'm going to fight. But I got to do this just because I have a lot of stuff to do with my own agenda later on. <laughs> You know, you wouldn't think these guys would take six hits with- like, do you see how- look how tiny that health bar is, dude. <laughs> it takes six hits to get rid of that shit. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Uh, maybe we can try to beat Leon. Let's try to beat Leon. <laughs> Even though that's like- I'm probably gonna fail completely miserably at this, but we can try our best. It takes so long to beat Leon in level one. I'm up for a challenge, man. We're gonna do this. Okay, place your bets, boys. Who's who's gonna win? Some Final Fantasy character who literally saves the universe because of time compression bullshit. Or some spiky-haired teenager that just got a weapon like two minutes ago. Let's find out. Okay, you guys have very high confidence in me. This is good. Idiot. Get out of here. This guy ain't nothing! This guy ain't nothing! What are you guys talking about? This dude is free as fuck! Oh, eat this fucking dick! How's that? Yeah, get on your fucking knees and suck my dick, Leon. How's that fucking taste? Yeah. Tastes like victory. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I know, dude. Wow, I beat Leon. I'm an actual god at this game, I know, clearly. Okay, now, do you guys, uh, I'm sure people who've played this game casually probably know this, but there's like a little secret thing here. Bald Mountain, 7 a.m. That actually means that, uh, you can hit this little thing up here. I, I guess that's just meant to be a little hint that if you hit this clock enough times, you actually get a little secret. And if you hit this all the way to 7 o'clock like it specifies, you get a little chest that appears on this side. And it's a mithril, but I mean, that's, that's not really that useful. But just a nice little, uh, sneak peek. Here's another interesting one. Instead of going over to, uh, well, let me, first of all, let me see. Can I do this now? Because <laughs> you can access this previously. I, you probably can't do this now. It's probably before you actually, like, find Leon and stuff. But if you actually get rid of the uh, enemies here, let me see if I can, you know, just fight them really quick. Come on. Can you actually access this right now? Let me see. Uh, no, it looks like <laughs> ding. Oh, no vacancy, there you go. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Why is that a thing in this? What the fuck? Okay, cool. Just a, just a random dude, like, saying, like, we're closed, shut up, and stuff. And if you actually come here before, like, maybe I'll show a quick little snippet if I put this in, like, a YouTube video or something. You actually get an extra text box saying something else that's detailed, but there's a nice little tiny thing. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> My favorite. And one other thing that uh, other people may not know about either is if you actually go back to the first district before this, you have to do this, I believe, before you get to third district. You can actually see the FF characters just chilling here. Uh, there's Leon right there, there's Aerith right here, and there's Yuffie down there. And if you talk to Aerith before you fight guard armor, she will give you a mega potion. <laughs> but that's that's so like odd like why they just have this free mega potion i'm pretty sure that goes away completely if you don't talk to Aerith like right now i probably should have put on some potions before i did this fight look at that health bar oh my goodness that's a lot of hp <laughs> card armor has two and a half bars of hp what the fuck dude what is this damage what the heck <laughs> it feels like wait what i mean i guess since this is considered to be a boss fight now am i like tripping or am I, like, dealing way more damage than I should be right now? I, I, I'm probably tripping out, but... Or is it just... Dude, I feel like scan makes that so much easier, because you know exactly what you should be focusing on. What the hell? <laughs> and then just apparently his health bar shrinks down to, like, half a bar. Oh my god, look at that damage! <laughs> Dude, I... God, I mean, I know it's only a couple combos, but I I, I deplete like half his half an HP bar with just like a couple combos. That's kind of nuts with how EXP damage skills you, dude. My God. So you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. Nah. His health bar shrinks after you dismantle the other pieces. Apparently, man. Oh, check out that sweet elixir, cause I kicked Leon's ass a little while ago. Beautiful. <laughs> And since I'm playing English, I get to show off the uh, the really specific thing. Also, on my way here, I might as well pick this up. 
And now, because I'm playing on English, we get to do the oh-so-favorite uh, Early Earth Shine, which means if you see this trinity right here, if you have not triggered any trinity cutscenes, this is English only, by the way, and you hold up after this cutscene is fading out, you get to get into this place really early, and this saves a tremendous amount of time on Japanese. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of treating this like I'm playing super casual, and, and to be honest, this kind of feels refreshing that I'm not like resetting my run and just like seeing the opening every like 30 to 60 minutes. That's uh, it's pretty not, not pretty uh, pretty not very bad. Oh, <laughs> that is not a good spot to have fire. There we go. That's better now. And yes, I have a Japanese control scheme going on. That's uh, that's much more appropriate. Uh, that's 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 like a sin on humanity to have fire on triangle unless you're playing cage 2 then fire on triangle is okay <laughs> fire on triangle in cage one is uh is not the best i don't recommend that hey look it's like the most the literally the master of masters in the making look at that beautiful polygonal face the the character in kingdom hearts that seems to know like literally everything more than any other character at this point in time Uh, oh, dude, Monka Steer. <laughs> dude, the actual true Monka Steer. Gummy ship, though. Beautiful. This says Monka Steer written all over it. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, so on... For whatever reason, on Japanese and English, it's the same control scheme for the gummy ship stuff. So essentially what that means is if you're playing on Japanese, the circle button shoots, but also on English... The, uh, the circle button shoots and the X button, uh, slows down. So that, even though they've remapped the controls between versions for combat and general control, they did not remap gummy stuff. Which means, uh, this might be a bit of a weird concept. But I'm actually, because I have inverted Japanese controls, I'm actually using, uh, X to shoot the gun on the ship, which is really, really weird. <laughs> yeah, that, that is very cursed. Like, that, that really threw me off. I was like, oh god. <laughs> I have to put up with this this whole playthrough? I don't know about this, man. You've never touched the X button in a gummy? You normally never have to, but, uh... I'm gonna get very well acquainted with it today. You know, I'm gonna- I'm gonna purposely do this just because I have the opportunity. And it's- it's pretty tricky to do this. I wanna see- Actually, I think I missed my opportunity for that, but it's like... Okay, I'm gonna be stupid and try to do this thing. Not many people actually know about this, and bear with me. Like, this might be a little bit of like a- Hold it! Pause, champ kind of like situation going on but there's one specific frame when this cutscene is going on that it looks really really like you'll see but I have to be like really careful about it come on ha <laughs> damn it dude no it's the very 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 first frame here oh dude I forgot the whole thing yeah, do the shadow patch before they optimize more stuff on PS5. There it is! Look! Sora's invisible! <laughs> For the very first frame of this cutscene, Sora's model is, is not loaded. It's it's so weird. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb. And then you unpause and... <laughs> what? How... Houdini? How did he... <laughs> that's so fucking weird. This, this is... Is that is that like what he's experiencing at the end of 3 when he's like fading out of existence? He's like, oh shit, I'm like reliving all my memories. <laughs> Now, what's the thing here? Like, uh, you check the journal, you talk to him, you push the thing, you open the journal, and then you close it, and then you talk to him again? Is that it? Or am I, am I, am I stupid? It's way oh, it is! Okay. What? Too heavy. Maybe I should move my webcam a little bit. I can't because, like, I, I can't move my webcam. There we go. Oh shit, uh, uh, uh oh, use the keyblade, I can't, okay, <laughs> what? Oh my god, I actually never knew <laughs> that, what the fuck? Okay, uh, I've never done this, I've only like seen videos on it. <laughs>
Ah, uh, yes, the old classic obtained potion E, my favorite item. Dude, look at that face. <laughs> look, it's like this. <laughs> Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. <laughs> oh my god, this is so dumb. Hey, good job, Donald. You're, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> yup, he's a real hero chosen by the Keyboy. Empty. Hero? <laughs> dude, wow. I, I, who found this, dude? This is uh, arbitrary code execution in Kingdom Hearts 1. He's laughing at me, man. That's so weird, man. I, I should look more into this, because, I mean, a whole video on weird execution on the game kind of being like, oh, hey, check the journal, and then he just, like, does all this random bullshit. Like, oh, my God, that's so funny. Okay. Um, I need to... Fi where, where, where do I even go now? I don't know. Oh, I, there's actually one other thing I, I should have done. You, you have to do this in a very specific time frame, but if you... You have to activate this trinity... Unless they patch this, I hope not, because this this was definitely a thing on PS3. But a fun little thing is if you activate that trinity on the left statue, you know and then you don't get the chest, and then you come back out, at least this should work. Pay attention to the uh, left side of the screen. Boom. <laughs> you just kind of have like the chest just kind of fall to the side there. It's pretty funny. So there you go. I ever tell you guys about the time I went to, uh... A place in uh, at SGDQ like a year or two ago with people, and uh, when we went to go order breakfast, I said I wanted my eggs over light, and then the guy looked at me like, "What the fuck did you just say?" <laughs> because that's how I've always said it, at least around here. I don't know if that's like a terminology that's like ex like very specific to the Northeast or some shit. And the guy is like, "What do you mean over easy?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, over easy." Sorry. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck, dude, I, I'm not living in New England anymore. I have to abide by other dialects." Am I gonna beat Sabor one? This 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 fight would actually be really hard. I don't know, man. Uh, who would win? It's one spiky-haired boy or one uh, one one uh, whatever animal Sabor is. I don't even know. Maybe we just baby the fuck out of this. Oh no. <laughs> I actually have to deplete that entire health bar too. Wait, does... Oh, yes! No, 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 don't charge. Okay. Oh my god, I completely forgot I have magic now. <laughs> nice, okay. Because uh, when you fight Leon, you don't have any magic, so I was very reliant on my, uh, my physical hits there. So there you go. Okay, so, like, what's the thing here? It's like, cooking pot, find the two recipe cards. I actually don't even remember. It's like, you light this, the stove has been lit. Oh, I can't even do this because I don't have Blizzard, do I? <laughs> well, never mind. I guess uh, we ain't doing this. I can do one? God, it's been so long, dude. I, I don't even know where all these friggin' things are. It's like, there it is on the, the grandfather clock. Fantastic. And then you take a potion, you come over here, and guess what? Potion is in the pot, it's ready to be heated, cooking, ready, high potion, oh my god, what? You can do that? That's cool. Okay. <laughs> you love this so much? Dude, I know it's great. Okay, here's my huge big brain strategy. I'm doing this like normal, and you know, you're thinking, okay, we're gonna head back to the camp, but wait! Oh, we're gonna go to this thing right here. Bring this party with us. And we're gonna go back to the treehouse really quick, because now, uh, I think at this point Sabora starts showing up at the treehouse, and you get a very specific thing that happens. I'm pretty sure... Yes. Ha! Oh, hole in the floor, because he just pops out out of nowhere. So that's pretty interesting. And then you can just kind of come down here, and you might think that's really obnoxious. Like, like, why is, like, why is now you guys will have to see... <laughs> It's gonna be even funnier now when I have a Power Wild fall down that hole when I'm actually trying to do stuff normally. <laughs> we are seeing new strats in the making? Potentially. Or at the very least, we'll uh, learn a little bit more about how this game operates as far as uh, how damage is actually calculated and what's like the best move to use where and stuff like that. So yeah, um, the next thing I'm really curious about is the Sabor fight and the uh, Clayton fight that's coming up. And farming them at level 1, you really shouldn't farm them at level 1 anyway. I have 666 money right now. 
<laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness, look at- look at- look at this. Oh, I already screwed up. <laughs> uh, come on. So, that's my damage with physical hits, and look at my damage with thunders, my god. Does damage storage actually affect that? Let me see here. That's with damage storage. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Oh my god, what? Tarzan actually did the thing he was supposed to? And what's this without damage storage? That is the exact same. Okay, so damage storage does not apply to this guy. Which I was honestly kind of thinking about anyway. Nice to know either way. I imagine that's going to be the case for Clayton as well, but it probably is not the case for Stealth Snake. I imagine that's actually a, uh, a boss by the game's definition, and damage storage probably applies appropriately. I'm going to assume that Clayton also doesn't kind of get affected by damage storage. I mean, I guess it makes sense looking at this, but Jesus Christ, does Thunder deal so much damage. We really don't want to be skipping this, man. Like, anyone who, like, says, why don't you just, like, get Lady Luck and skip Thunder? I don't think so, man. I actually can't tell. Maybe, uh, maybe it doesn't matter. Also, Tarzan, why do you have, like, literally no MP? I'm a little, con I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Fine, casual strats. Get him out of here. You cannot clean all the way to this side and the lasers can't get you if you hug this wall. But you see that shit though. <laughs> okay, so yeah, damage storage does not affect Clayton, which I mean, I am I was kind of thinking that was the case anyway. I forget the exact trigger point, but I think it's like- oh wait, I can do the uh, the thing again. <laughs> what's the- what's the thing here? I check the- uh, I check the journal. Let me make a save. <laughs> is it like you check the journal or is there like a very specific thing you have to do here? And then you like talk to Alice, and then it's just like, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, maybe it's in the Chronicles or something. Isn't like you go to the journal, you check the Chronicles on stuff, and then you like... There we go! Okay. <laughs> and we have another instance of uh, nonsense happening with us, so that's cool. <laughs> Some really insightful information that we're getting here. Sora obtained E. Donald obtained E, I guess Donald turned into a girl, that's cool. <laughs> Why is this even a thing, dude? I don't even understand. This, this is some, this is some weird stuff. And it's like, you get some other weird stuff if you like talk to the Queen of Hearts and other things too. Attain the power of ice. Attain the power of thunder. Attain the power of healing. And then it just kind of repeats and, and stuff. And I think like one of these is like a soft lock. Attain the power of the stars. Attain E, that's the soft lock right there, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, KH1's kind of, kind of weird, man. I, I don't really know what's going on with that. You get something from that? No, it's just, uh, flavor text. Unfortunately, we do not actually get spells. That would be absolutely insane. Can you imagine if we had gravity from, like, the very start of this game? <laughs> oh my god, this text is so slow on English, what the hell? Damn, dude, I completely forgot that that was a thing in this game. I'm glad, uh, English version has its perks to show off if you're actually playing it. I have no idea which box fell first, to be honest. Okay, chat, I will leave it in your hands. Pick a number between one and five. Three, five, two, four, two, three. Okay, we have like a vote for every number. Uh, let's pick number three. I think it was number five, to be honest. Oh my god, it was both of them. Okay, that's not good. Uh, th this might be a little bit problematic, actually. <laughs> that's like the worst possible outcome. Uh, anyway, I guess maybe we need to do some panty strats. Oh, don't hit me. There we go. Fall over. There we go, that's good. <laughs> and now the cards get, like, really distracted, so that's nice. Oh! Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect you. <laughs> yeah, number three was not good. Don't don't pick number three. Number three is bad. How does Donald specifically know she got kidnapped? Because Donald is actually the master of masters. You guys know this, this doorknob just doesn't do anything? Just snores? Doorknob just snores for like 10 minutes video. Should be good. There's a lot of really weird quirks with KH1, man. Like, I'll, I mean, this might be a surprise with the whole premise of everything, but this game is kind of fucking weird. <laughs> so, I actually... This is a really interesting time because... 
I can actually use this. Oh my god, that damage is so good with the XP Zero with that. So it's like, uh, does that pretty decent damage there. And if I do it with damage storage, that seems pretty comparable. So that's interesting. EXP damage storage might deal very slightly more damage. But it seems like base. Wow, dude. <laughs> base, uh, base Thunder still does pretty decently against it. So it seems. From just the overview of early game, damage storage doesn't really seem to matter much for the initial part. I honestly can't believe how well programmed and how. Like, how crazy detail oriented this game is for it being the very first entry. It's like, they weren't sure if this game was actually going to be like a big uh, a big hit or not. It was kind of a gamble when it was brand new. And they put like everything they had into it just in case they didn't make any more games. It's honestly pretty insane how KH1 just does all these things. The weight scale? Oh man, I will do that right after this. Like the one in the uh, in the item shop, I think, right? So there's like this little weird scale here. Yeah, so you can actually go into first person mode. Hey, Goofy, get on here. Goofy, get on the scale. No, you idiot. Get on. Yeah, I don't know, man. Please. Oh, yes. Donald, does, does Donald not weigh anything? Donald, I don't... I don't wow, okay. <laughs> Donald... <laughs> Donald, you, you, you don't even register on the fucking scale. <laughs> what is this shit? I, I don't even know. Now, how about Goofy? Come on. Get on there. I, I can push. Oh, yes. Goofy, get on. What? Goofy doesn't weigh anything either. What? What is this? I'm fat as fuck. No, they, they don't weigh anything, dude. They, they're, they're actually... They weigh nothing. Actual ghost, that's a little spooky. Why is there a scale in the item shop? Well, to weigh the items, obviously, because don't you want to know how much your potion weighs before you use it? Maybe they have like a gym in like the back area <laughs> of the item shop or something, and they just kind of have that there just to judge people. I don't know. Um, is there anything else to do right now? I'm trying to think offhand. I don't think so. Let's just buy my, my- Oh! I don't have money! I didn't sell stuff to the dude and the guy and the thing. It's okay. There we go. That's much better now. And an interesting little thing is you can actually go into the gummy menu from uh, Traverse Town if you want. So let's uh, let's edit the gummy here. Monk a steer. Because I can. Dude, every time, that, that's- <laughs> I, I, I'm so happy we named this shit Monka Steer. That's so good. Yeah, see, we got it's it's the three uh, it's the trinity of gummies. We got Kingdom, Cindy, and we got Monka Steer. Classy. Blowing my mind twice now. Hopefully, I can keep uh, keep doing that. How's the science project coming along? Uh, slowly but surely, we're discovering a few things. I feel like mid game is gonna be the part that's really interesting though. Because we'll actually start to see usage of summons like Genie and I can't wait till we get to see Mushu and all this other stuff that's going on and how fires work on Ansem 3 and stuff. We'll see what happens. I am becoming a five head as we speak. It is true. Look boys, it's the best fight in video game history. Let's do this. Now I want to see what this fight is all about with physical hits. Oh, this is a great opportunity as well. You guys, uh, every time he forms back together, he actually regains HP. That's something I have known about, but it's uh, not really it's not really known about that much. Because most runs don't have scan by this point in the game, so unless you have scan really early, you probably wouldn't know that. Wait, what? Ho hold the fucking wait. Am I crazy or is that second finisher not doing like anything? Dude, what? Hello? Why does that second finisher do like jack shit for damage? I thought that did the same as the first finisher. What? Wow, what the fuck? Oh. Well, I learned something new. Why? What? That- No, it's not even- Not even that either, it's like... What the fuck? That's so weird. Why? So, the first finisher deals scale damage. And the finisher that hits the- Hits the back of Pots and if he does, like, chip damage. <laughs> Wow, that is, uh, interesting. 
Well, that that's a very interesting quirk. So getting that extra, so getting that second finisher on Pot Centipede basically doesn't mean anything. I mean, maybe for the tiny bit of extra damage, it helps a little bit, but for the most part, it's useless to get that second finisher. How does uh, I, if I could like actually do this properly? Oh my goodness! You see that damage that the orb does? <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! That is the number one priority for this fight in level one: is get those parries. So yeah, Thunder doesn't really do much, I think. What's it called? Finisher with damage storage. Oh wait, that did something. Did it? I can't even tell. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> uh, now I kind of wish I had a Thunder spell. I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! Ooh. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. Let's see how physical damage deals against this guy. Not so good. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> Uh, well, we're doing practice anyway. Please do Atlantica? I will. So you want the HP to be about there? And then I do a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and then we use fires to kill this dude. Oh my goodness, look at that HP bar just melt away. Ooh, boy. Well, that makes a lot more sense in conjunction with how that works. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, Dan Castanella of fucking, I don't know, <laughs> whatever his, his last Genie. name is. Like, who voices Homer Simpson also does Genie. Genie. So, blizzards seem to deal adequate damage there. Okay. That was actually so stupid. That doesn't seem like it makes any difference, am I crazy? I mean, I guess we'll find out in a minute, but I feel like that didn't change my damage output for Blizzard. Let me see. Attack. I, I swear that's like the exact same damage. It looks like it's the same damage anyway, so damage storage maybe doesn't affect this fight that much. If it does make a difference, it's like so minor. Actually, you know, we're going to try to survive this. Never before seen. AH1, level 1 and stuff. Or I try to survive the carpet escape. Oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck! No, this is bad. Nope. 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 Oh my god, this is impossible. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Okay, I, I think we're I think we're screwed. Oh my god, I made it! <laughs> oh my god, I actually survived. What the fuck? That's cool. I didn't die to carpet escape. Has never been done by a human being before. I'm sure. I mean, it probably has, but that's like so stupid. <laughs> Time loss? I know, right, Friel? That was pog as fuck. I, I, I lost that time. Also, here's a very specific thing, too. If Oh, this is before you leave the world. Uh, we have characters that are kind of just, like, here now. You have a bunch of these NPCs just, like, chilling in Agrabah before you actually... actually leave the world. Like, see, here's, like, a... Here's, like, a... Waka's, like, cousin or something. <laughs> There's like one more dude, I think, in like the uh, the plaza here. Let me see. He's like chilling. Yeah, this dude is like a <laughs> the guy. Like, so the bro, the twin brother's cousin, <laughs> is an agrabah <laughs> as well. Topper, topper, bottom shot. Which path? <laughs> Don't take that question out of context. Bottom path. Okay. To be fair, if I choose if I chose top path and I banked on missing hook ship, I probably would have missed it because I'm I missed. We'll take the scenic route though. This is also a little bit uh, congested. I really shouldn't have done this. I'm gonna fucking die! Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Why did I boost into that? <laughs> that was such a dumb idea. Those things kill you in one hit. Okay. Uh, do I want to do chamber three skip, or do I want to like be super casual and actually pick up a few things? I'm gonna do it to flex, and then I'm not even gonna do it because uh, I just want to prove. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that was not my best idea. No, dude, I'm, what am I worried about? Dying in a casual playthrough? Come on now. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Goofy, why would you do this to me? He he pushed the dude... Ah, oh, hi. He pushed the dude against the barrel, and then the barrel of spider exploded in it, and my barrel that I normally use is, is, is ripped now. I'm mad. Why would you do this to me? I am not throwing this barrel. Oh my... Are, are you serious? I'm gonna spawn enemies. Push the fucking barrel up there. Thank you. Is that so difficult? I 
god! Oh my god! It's happening! It's happening! It's happening! It's happening! What is what is going on? Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I was I was getting so I was getting so angry. You guys want to know something that's that's cool? Hey, Goofy, you chilling on that that barrel there? Hey, let me join you. If there's two people on a barrel at a time, it it just like it it dies like that. So you got to be so careful about your movement here, but that doesn't happen. So just uh, oh, you know what I should do, man. <laughs> This is totally something, I, but I mean, I just can't, uh, I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Genie. I'm gonna use Genie on Parasite Cage. You know why? Because I can. Because I'm very interested to see what, uh, see what his damage is like with this. Let's see what this is like. I'm actually very curious. Okay, let's see this amazing damage. What? No, what do you mean? I, I, oh, I lost target? Oh, this is why we don't do this, man. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, he's fucking him up. Wow, what is that, dude? Genie's kind of a monster, dude, when he- Oh! Goofy with the old wind-up on that shield there, that was good. So what you're telling me... What you're telling me is if I press jump and I buffer a pause, and then I unequip high jump, he'll just be like- and He'll just like, take off, like, my people need me, type stuff. He's just like, he's gone. Do I actually have to- I mean, I don't know if- because I thought you mean, like, if I had this on or something. Whoa! Big boy jump! Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I never knew that. That's so funny. Okay, we get- we get a big boy jump with the initial animation. That's- that's pretty good, man. I like that. So now we have our fully completed gummy, Monka Steer. After Agrabah, and I will probably never be touching that again for the rest of this. <gasps> Boys, look, it's Atlantica! Are you guys ready? Because we're about to just fucking not dock in this world! Because we're not ready for it yet. Get baited, idiot. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that's rude. We will, we will do Atlantica, though, I promise. Just, uh, we don't want to do this world before MP. That's a, <laughs> that's a very, very bad. Don't do that. Oh, I should probably do this now. <laughs> Really a silly thing, and I'm sure people already know about this, but there's like this doorbell here. You ring this doorbell three times. And you get an elixir. And you want to, you guys want to know something that's really funny? That, that took like forever to get, right? That used to be in the level 1 any percent road. <laughs> We've kind of come a long way. Like, that's, uh, that used to be, like, a safety elixir because it wasn't that far out of the way. It did take a bit of time, but we were like, nah, it's fine, man. Level 1's probably never gonna get so optimized that we actually need to skip this anyway, and, uh... Yeah, that, that elixir is, like, really slow, so don't get that. Dude, I cannot wait to do Oogie 2 because that fight with friggin', uh, what's it called? <laughs> that fight with Scan is actually, like, not terrible because you know when to stop and you don't have to keep track of your hits the entire fight. Isn't that fantastic? Let's see how well LSB will treat me in this. I'm also curious to see how the, uh, I mean, I guess it shouldn't be that surprising, but see how blizzards actually affect this fight. Oh, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Your physical attacks deal nothing. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I actually had a pretty decent fight there, but still won the world. I was like thinking, okay, he has like no health left. He probably needs like one or two hits and he, he needed like 10. <laughs> it's like, what is this? It's kind of making me feel shittier about your physical attacks. <laughs> Honestly, like I, this part of me that's kind of like, I wish I, I wish I didn't know that you did chip damage on your second finisher on Pot Centipede. That, that kind of destroyed my dreams, knowing that that barely does anything. All right, so an ideal fight kills him in two blasts, and I want to see if getting two blasts is like super common or it's like super infrequent. Let's see this damage. Dude, what is that? Okay, two blasts probably seems realistic to kill, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so you're unlucky if you get- oh, I can even get like a third one in there, like BAM! And that didn't even hit anything, it just hit the side of the wall. This should be interesting. Let's see how our damage is against these things. Also, there's a fade out here on English. That's kind of weird. Oh my god. Uh, nine. Well. Oh wait, I don't even have to care about that because I'm doing a new strut. My goodness, dude. You deal so much more damage with fires. What is this? 
Oh god, your physical attacks are such garbage at level 1, dude. I can actually- I don't even have to count hits, I just have to do a decent amount of damage, and then I just kind of- let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, and do 6. And that's fine. It Wouldn't that be so nice, instead of actually having to count the hits, you can just do that. That's it, that's all I need to know, just just get out. Like, they, they would make this fight so much less annoying. Not having to actually- oh. Not actually having to keep tabs on how many hits you've done. Here I come! Here I come. <laughs> Jack, shut up. What are you doing? Then you attack it from over there. That gets rid of- Oh! 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 Dude, this fight would be so much less annoying with Scan, my goodness. What would you do if your best bud became a house? I would visit him. I probably wouldn't go in the house though, because that's weird. Alright, so I can't get this in speedruns, but surely... This is a casual playthrough. I haven't done Atlantica yet, that's okay. But because this is casual, I have no reason not to get the ship first try. Because, I mean, why would that even matter? I mean, you, you'd be nice and, like, actually give the ship. Oh, you'd be fucking okay. <laughs> oh my god, I got hooked ship first try every time. This ought to be good, let's see. I'm not gonna have time to analyze this with how fast I have to move. Huh? What do you- what? That's- that's not how that's supposed to go. <laughs> what do you mean? What- why did- why did that not work? <laughs> I'm- I'm confused. Oh boy, how many times are we gonna do this fight until I get the, uh, ideal situation? I don't understand what is happening with that. There we go. And then it's like, I think now he should be dead from this, and then that HP bar should just, like, melt away. Yeah, okay. So that that's kind of what I expected, to be honest. I'm not really, like, that blown away by it. But it's, like, it, it literally just counts every single hit that you do while he stopped and takes the damage away accordingly if it's, like, a base attack or a finisher, so. Fire! Fire! Oh, shit, I didn't mean it. Well, this fight is starting off perfectly. Oh my- dude, Look at his health bar! What the fuck? Dude, oh my god, that is so much damage. Alright. Are you joking? No! <laughs> You'll not catch me other hand, fuck you. Jesus, man, you just see- Literally, like, at two and a half bars of health, he just goes down to one. That's- that's gnarly. That actually wasn't even that bad of a fight, it just wasn't a good fight. When can we fight anti doll and anti-Goofy? Probably the next KH game. Okay, uh, this should be very interesting. <laughs> I, I don't know what to make of this. Spoopiest boss in this game? Obviously Phantom. It's a speedrunner's nightmare. Ow. Well, shit, dude. <laughs> what are these? I, I feel like these noises are so weird compared to what I'm used to. I don't know what that was, but sure. When is Finny fun? I have to go all the way through Hollow Bastion until Riku 2. I need to get the Yellow Trinity from Olympus so I can get Aurora from Neverland so I can do Ursula 2. So there's a number of steps I have to obey in order to actually get there. Also, you can see, uh... <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys caught that. I'll just do this one more time to show you, but if you actually look on the other side... If you look on the other side of this room, or of this loading zone when you're going through it, Sora's just kind of there already, somehow. Look at this. See, he just he just kind of falls on top. He, he like, breaks the rules, and he's just like, he's he's in a rush today, so he's not in the mood to abide by the whole cutscene properties, I guess? I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? The bubble physics on English are so weird. They're like 120 FPS or some shit. Your damage is actually not too bad for this fight. Pretty decent fight, eh? If Goofy survive longer, I, I'm not gonna argue the semantics or, or just like minor stuff, but...
Pretty sure I would have lost time with a fight like that. Hope you're feeling better, Mist. Uh, <laughs> Miss Wrist. We're going back to this stuff, man. We're making we're making accounts based off recent stuff that's happened. Uh, you guys, you guys always find a way to make me laugh. I appreciate that. <laughs> It's like that one time uh, I found there was a spider in my room that I was gonna go kill when I got to the unskippable scene. And then it was gone, and I didn't know where it went. And then someone made an account called Spider Behind Mist. I don't know who that was. <laughs> um, I think he's locked on to Goofy. That shouldn't be a problem. Also, I made a mistake of trying to check behind me, because now that's wasting time. It, like, because by, by changing the camera- Dude, what the fuck? Goofy literally just like, he, Goofy was right over there and he teleports right and Donald just did it too. Oh my god, you guys are spooking me. Get out of here. <laughs> literally just like teleporting from the abyss down below. Oh my god, my duck is about to die. And he's dead. He's gone. It's over. My dog is alive. My duck is now dead. It, it's, it, it was a good ride, man. I appreciate you helping me out. Oh, and he's back here. Okay. Hey look, it's Xemnas. See that little heartless symbol? That means Xemnas is up there. You ever notice how bright this whole area is when you look up, dude? It's kind of enchanting, to be honest. So you can kind of see how much, uh, too- like, wow, do you see that? Damage scaling. Look how- oh, and we get- she gets- we get to hear, like, the really weird noise when she's on stop, too. She's like, Mmm. That damage though, my goodness. Two combos. You know, like literally I'm dealing like a fifth or a quarter of a bar of damage, or if not more than that. Every time. That's that's honestly pretty insane. <laughs> Alright, dude, let's see how much damage we deal to this fucko. You know what? <laughs> I'm angry because my duck died and I stopped too early, so rip that. My duck is dead again. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, that is disgusting. I just I just saw the health bar go from like four to two <laughs> bars of HP. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh my god, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Why is level 1 so powerful against these fights? My god. Okay, wait! Hold it. We do not fight Riku 2 yet. If we're gonna make this an all-worlds thing strictly, I need to make an, a separate save right now. So let's make a save there. With, uh, without the extra stuff being done, so we'll go from a save file here now. Okay, Lady Luck for the fans. I mean, honestly, that wouldn't that wouldn't be too big of a deal because it's the same amount of MP. Plus, I mean, quite frankly, I think Lady Luck is a cooler Keyblade anyway, so why not? How am I doing for Dalmatians anyway? Probably fucking terrible because I've been skipping so many. Thirty-three. I need fifty-one. Goofy. He's 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 breathing in my fucking ear right now. You'll never be in Smash. <laughs> it's just like you're freaking me out, man. Don't do that. I'm just saying, like, like I think that's what Marluxia whispers in Sora's ear in the fights that he has against him. He's telling him that he's never going to be in Smash, and that's why he's like, <gasps> What the fuck? Here. I'll do you guys a solid. Uh, on top of the all-world stuff, how about we have a bonus, uh, we'll fight Sefi at the end of the stream as well, just to kind of see how that works out. I have this to do, and then I have Atlantica to do. And then I have the oh-so-treacherous, uh... Hundred Acre Wood. Which, I mean, let's be honest, uh, I'm probably not gonna do that. <laughs> At least I'm not gonna do that on stream, because that's- that's stupid. I suppose the only thing that would suck, though, is if I don't do it, I don't have access to Sora's cheer ability. In the context of an all-worlds thing, so I mean, would that really matter that much? Don't you want to see the damage scaling with Hundred Acre Wood fights? I mean, eh, kind of. Oh, I should try to be Cloud, shouldn't I? I was just going to take a death here. Okay, fine. Challenge accepted. I've won all optional fights so far. This is a hard fight. Also, your damage kind of sucks. Oh, 
That was hard. <laughs> anyway. Really? I always count on Donald to die on, at every friggin' corner, dude. It's so stupid. I really, like... I, I don't like the idea of Donald, like, dies in one hit to, like, literally everything. He's, like, not that useless, but man. <laughs> when you play on crit or proud mode or whatever the fuck, he, he, he dies so easily. It's, it's, like, actually comical. Oh, Fireball. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, that is like the most out of control attack I've ever seen with the HP bar just fluctuating. Ooh. I just ate that fireball for breakfast, dude. Oh man, Speedy Crib toggling that webcam color though. I got you, man. Hold up. Thank you so much for that. Oh, dude, what? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I got two more webcam toggles on that, so I had to change my webcam three times in like two seconds. Hercules, wait, let's go one on one. Oh brother, what a show off. What are we gonna do? Let him go alone, I guess. Good luck, Sora. Not gonna go easy on you. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, okay, dude. Yeah, as you guys are gonna see, he's he's not gonna do anything passive. He's gonna be punching me in the face every two seconds, and now he's just gonna sidestep, I guess. Okay, the barrels don't deal any damage. I don't really know how you're supposed to... Maybe if I had an elixir and I didn't waste like 5 MP using gravities on the battleship, this might have been a little bit smoother, but... You guys remember, like in the really old version of this game, whenever Hercules did this attack, he would literally, like, he would do it, and then he would cancel it immediately, so it would be like he did a, he did a dab. And I was about to showcase a dab for you, but then I realized that dabbing is evil, so I stopped myself. Oh, son of a... Oh, they deal- wait, what? They do deal damage? Wait, why did- why did- why did that first one- wait, what? Can I kill him with a barrel? Oh my god, please, please tell me this is a thing. Die! Oh no. Well, I- I, I can iframe with a barrel, that's interesting. Oh, this might be the perfect time. Damn it. No! I don't think you can actually kill with the barrels. Oh, dude, that would be so hilarious if you could, though. Die. Damn it. <laughs> Are you serious? Why is... Ah. Oh, I wanted to kill him with the barrel so badly, but it's not gonna let me, is it? I am so upset, dude. I just wanna use... I just wanna meme Hercules, and the game's not letting me. One more chance. Fuck you. Oh! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> oh my god, you actually can. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I am so happy I kept trying. Dude. <laughs> okay, that was, that was worth like the five minutes it took me to do that shit. Yeah, that's weird. So there's like a, a damage property tied to the barrels. Like, that's weird. Like when he comes out of certain attacks or something, that's so... That's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That that's that's interesting. That's something to look into. It's studying how barrels actually hurt Hercules because I it made like no sense why it was doing it and not. The most amazing spell gifts God's gift to humanity for level 1 Atlantica is behind this yellow trinity door right here. The ticket. Why are you guys floating? <laughs> guys floating while I'm just like sitting here actually trying to push the door open. This <laughs> This chest right here. This this motherfucker is pushing me. This chest. Obtain the power of wind. Arrow has been upgraded to Aurora. Oh my god. We are we have one level one. It's over. We we have we have just done it. We have the most amazing thing at level one that you can possibly get your hands on. Now, after all this time, like I promised you guys, here is some finny fun. Let's do it. Sing the song? Nah. This the song is a jammer though, not gonna lie. That's all I'm gonna do for you. Deal with it. Under the sea. I lied. I will give my full honest opinion though. This world in KH1 in a speedrun? Probably the best part of the game. Very consistent worlds, and as long as- like, the only real thing that's a little bothersome is the shark. 
But it houses an actual glitch that we use to speed the game up considerably. And honestly, uh, the fights really aren't uh, too bad. Like, Ursula 1 is kind of annoying, but Ursula 2 is actually, like, really hilarious when it's done properly, so. Like, whenever I do an all-worlds run, this is, like, the, uh, time where you actually sit back, relax, and just do some stuff, and not really fixate too heavily on the other RNG aspects of the game. Actually, no, a lot of people are not familiar with this, this world because it's not done at any percent, is what I was trying to say. However, it houses one of the few glitches in KH1 that's actually really useful for speedrunning. So we skip this text, we go up here, grab this dolphin while it's still loading in, and we are out of bounds. And we can kind of just kind of slip and slide underneath this whole like void of darkness here, pop in again out of bounds, and then activate this, and we have created a shortcut before we actually go to sunken ship. One of the reasons I wish this category or any percent did Atlantica, because that's one of the coolest parts of the speedrun in this game in, in like everything, so. I really am annoyed we don't get Mermaid Kick until like the like 90% of the way through the world. And I mean, if ca if this world sucks casually for people, that's understandable because it kind of does, but... Speedrun-wise, this world is pretty pog. Hey look, it's a treasure chest, boys. And, and hey look, it's a fixed camera angle, like it's a Resident Evil game. I'm sure nothing scary is going to happen when I inch my way over to this little chest right here. And why is that- Oh no, the- Ah! That scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Also, English only thing. If you don't get into a battle with the shark when you're leaving that area, this whole world has no music. It's very creepy. Until you spawn enemies and then the music picks up again, but for that brief period of time when there's no music, it's rather, rather ominous. Dead Silence honestly ups the atmosphere tremendously at various moments, but it's like in KH1 when there's no background music, it is like really rather creepy. <laughs> that fucking laugh, dude. Oh my god, I hate listening to that. Um, Ariel can... <laughs> I, I want to take Ariel's items, That's <laughs> that, that also sounded bad. And where is Mr. Sharkman? Hello. You gotta be dead, right? No way. What the fuck? You have so much HP left still. Why is my damage so bad? <laughs> Please. No. Oh my god, that was that was actually kind of horrifying. <laughs> I haven't done level 1 Atlantica in a while. I, I forgot how 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 chonky that shark is. Literally just takes damage. <laughs> Aerial hard carrying? Yeah, probably. The idea for this fight is you spam a lot of- Oh, I should probably put items on. <laughs> That would be very bad if I did not have any recovery items for this fight. Okay, that's good. Get her down to half a bar of health, and you can two-cycle her, which is, like, just barely possible in level one, so... So it's like, here's one... I think, uh, I think that's good. You get down to two... Okay, so... And you just kind of hold out a little bit, have your party distract the, uh, the eels, and... Throw the thing in the cauldron again, please. Thank you. And she should die from this. There we go. Otherwise, this fight is really, really obnoxious because you have to do a third cycle and your MP is just waning so hard, so. Never doing physicals on Ursula 1 ever again? Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty cool strat, not gonna lie. It makes that fight so much less cancer when you have the right setup and you just spam Thunder. For whatever reason, Thunder is like really good against a lot of enemies. I, I don't know what it is, but it, it, it's it's like stupidly good. So Ursula 2, this fight is normally complete ass in like literally every version of the game in any context, but we're gonna do something a little bit special. A damage storage. And then we're gonna die. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know, I kind of fucked this fight up. You know, I just bite me. <laughs> How does this strat go again? It's like run up, stop, combo, stop, arrow, I think, something like that. And then we stop again. And then we arrow. There we go, that's better. Three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just kind of keep an eye on how that health bar is going. There we 
There we go. <laughs> and booyah. Ursula is uh, no more. That's why it's so important that we get Aurora before we come to Atlantica, because it makes that fight like not actual shit. <laughs> and now we get to go all the way and fight Riku. Because now I've done, I've sealed the keyhole to those other worlds, which means all their major story requirements are done, which means I don't have to put up with any, uh, any BS battle level scaling. You guys want to see how much I kick Riku's ass with the aid of skin? I'll give you a hint, it's not really that impressive. <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. You're actually doing better damage than I thought. Oh, actually, hold that thought. You guys want to know something cool? Watch this. He only does that move if you shoot fire at him. That's Dark Fyraga, and that's its only uh, way you can actually show it in Cage one So not only is he immune to all magic, but he has a specific move designated if you use fire against him. Foolish boy. Now we can go to End of the World and other stuff, and I cannot wait to see how Genie fucks me over. No, I get to see... And a visual reference to how Genie fucks my runs up in uh, in the end game when he doesn't cooperate. Last uh, bit of time, I guess, before we go to end of the world. One more time, just to give people a reminder as to this whole thing. We're gonna go into the gummy garage and think back. A monk is steer. Never forget monk is steer. Okay. That's that's all I wanted to say. I just had like a PSA about monk is steer. I couldn't believe Monk of Steer actually fit in the thing way back on Destiny Islands. That was so sick. Oh my god, I'm dying! I'm actually dying, my health... No, we're fine. Okay, never mind. Easy, dude. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die at the very end. That would have been so stupid. Okay, easy. I saw there was like an extra ship or two like that was like right next to me. I was like, oh god, <laughs> no, please don't do this. Every time I watch a KH1 run, I want to try again myself, but when I do, I hate myself for starting a run about two hours in. Yeah, that's uh, that's normal. Oh boy, we get to see how amazingly terrible G can be on Behemoth because for the longest time, I mean, and it still is. I don't know why I say the longest time, but... Behemoth sucks. A lot. <laughs> because your gravities don't deal the same damage as, uh... They deal on the other behemoths, because this one is considered a boss fight. But I don't really understand how gravity quite functions, because it's meant to be percentile-based, plus a certain amount of damage dependent on your MP. I'm also, like, 99% sure that, uh, that fight loads in faster on English, because that kind of threw me off. Wow, actually not that bad for damage. Is Genie being bad? That's so awkward. And yeah, those blue orbs are, are pog. Dude, what the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> You know, man, like, I feel like, <laughs> I, I don't know, like, that's, that's how the ideal fight should be. He just kind of, like, I, I feel like I barely won that fight, though, but damn. <laughs> As in, I barely won that fight before he got up, but uh, for the first time, but that was kind of sick, not gonna lie. <laughs> this next part should be fun, though, because we get to see Mushu absolutely annihilating some poor guy. I will absolutely say, man, that this category would be, it'd be kind of weird. But it definitely would be a nice quality of life upgrade if we had access to scan. Oh, I get to show this off too, uh, for those who don't know. If you uh, load a save file at a uh, gate to whatever the fuck it's called, gate to the dark, and you haven't watched the opening cutscene yet, and you enter the load zone and you skip the cutscene, I don't think any game audio plays here. Aside from just, like, your footsteps, so you get another, like, ambient, uh, thing with no music in the background, which makes this actually a lot creepier than it should be. Because it literally just feels like there's nothing here now, with no actual background music. Um, no, it wouldn't be Z-Believe, because one the thing that unfortunately is a thing with Behemoth is he's resistant to fire. Or he's immune to fire, I should be more specific. 
I can actually show you, like, uh, in just a bit here. I'll just take a death and, like, show you what I'm talking about, but... Uh, Mushu doesn't do anything against him. So, let's say, uh, okay, well, Mushu is very consistent with his projectiles and everything, so why wouldn't Mushu be a good idea to use against Behemoth? And like I said, he has an immunity to fire, and in case you're, con in case you're wondering what exactly that looks like, since I have actual HP displayed now, check a take a look at his HP bar when I do this. That's kind of a feels bad, isn't it? So yeah, that's why we can't use Mushu, because Mushu literally doesn't do anything against him. So unfortunately, we kind of have to rely on uh, the sporadic usage of Genie's orbs to actually deal damage here. Which is really too bad, because if he was not immune to fire, Behemoth would literally not be a problem. He would be- it would be the exact same case as, uh, Chernabog. Because I sealed, uh, the keyholes to Olympus and Atlantica, I don't have to do their terminal. Yay! That means I get to go fast in this part. Yeah, KH1 is ridiculously well built for 2002. It's kind of insane. One thing that would be so cool if we could get it to work in a speedrun would be to get an early haste to gummy. Dude, Goofy killing that... Killing that invisible, like, no problems, dude. Oh, wonderful. If we get that haste to gummy from Agrabah, but we need high jump to get it, so we can't actually get it within the first visit, but, like, you just barely don't have enough height versus, uh momentum to make it over there. There's definitely a few moments where you can tell the textures and stuff really aren't upscaled properly. I mean, they're upscaled properly, but because of how the PS2 handled its things, you can get away with, like, some stuff they did. Like, you can actually see the corners in, like, a couple of rooms, like in Wonderland and stuff. Also, this HP bar is kind of melting. <laughs> in case anyone wanted to know how Mushu kind of works, that's, that's how it is, so there you go. <laughs> Mushu's pretty destructive. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm all for any possible hypothetical sense of skipping stuff, but it just doesn't seem very realistic because KH1 is uh, pretty insanely well built as far as its design choices with progression. Story progression is like tied to specific cutscenes and values that you need to activate prior, and I mean, I can't quite figure it out myself. It's still a little bit perplexing. Also, Genie, you literally are, like, the worst. <laughs> so that's what it looks like when Genie doesn't cooperate, and he only does, like, one and a half bars of damage, as opposed to, like, the two to three that I need him to do, so that's cool. Now, if I was a good little boy, and I did 100 Acre Wood, this final rest would be over, because I could just do this for the rest of the waves. It's all good, though, man. It means I'm just doing some practice for any percent runs tomorrow, because I'm probably gonna be doing those tomorrow, so... Yeah, dude, the triple gale drop. I wasn't gonna say anything, but oh my god. Actually fuming with anger, knowing, uh... Also, check out Dumbo's damage here. It's also worth, like, uh, as a reminder, normal enemies aren't affected by damage storage. So even though it doesn't seem like Dumbo's not doing too much, it, he's actually doing okay. Did I actually stop that invisible too? Oh my god, that is insane. I, honestly, kind of a bad thing that that happened, because, uh, he, he, he stuck. Stuck is stuck in the air, and that was kind of slow. Was that the, the four Gale Drops? Let, let me, let me, I, I, I can actually go pick these up. <laughs> One, two, three. Are you fucking kidding me, man? How do you get four Gale Drops with no lucky strikes, and when I do a fucking Platinum Trophy run, I get, like, one? Oh, where is this RNG when I really need it for those types of runs, man? That's- that's pisser. It was five? Motherfucker. <laughs> you need eight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, well last time I did a platinum run I had like two at this point. That's- that's actually stupid. I guess we'll see how final fights go. We get to hear motherfucking Billy Zane. Because I'm playing on English. Yes. Billy Zane, the legend himself. He's laughing at me, man. Stop laughing at me unless like you you like love being set on fire for some reason. I don't know. Submissed! 
That doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well. I like it though. <laughs> you guys want to see uh, Dark Side's health bar kind of- Oh, you know what? Watch this actually. I love doing this. You get like, look at this, look at this insane damage when you have arrow going and you use fires. <laughs> Actually insane. <laughs> no, I didn't get the fast kill because I memed. Ah, shit. Normally that's the point I just spam fires because my arrow doesn't actually deal any damage, but like, damage storage is very apparent in that fight. I'm Guardian. I'm Guardian. Your finishers deal a lot of damage in this fight. That's so much easier when you have a visual cue. Oh, I'm bad. I'm stupid. I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm terrible. Why, why was I so greedy? Billy Zane, don't do it. Oh, no. No. Ah, this is not good. Ah, son of a bitch. God damn it, dude. I got submitted by Billy Zane. He's, gonna, he's totally going to DM my ass again. Oh my god, did I get the legendary stagger? Bruh! <laughs> Actual god in gaming. DMless clean fight, perfect. Oh my god, how did I get that second stagger? <laughs> if I didn't stagger him right at that very moment where he got the guardian back, I'm pretty sure that he was gonna instantly DM. That was like insanely lucky. Now this fight I'm interested in because I wanted to see how much you're melting through this dude's HP. Ooh, that's a little rough on my arm, not gonna lie. Hmm. Seems like you can do four, but I definitely did miss a few fires. But that's interesting. You want to make sure you don't go below two and a half bars of health or he enters DM phase immediately. Oh my god, all the fast wind-ups. This is a little sketchy every time. Three. Oh, wow. I swear, like, it feels like they take so much more, uh, so many more hits to die. <laughs> When, uh, you're actually looking at the whole, uh, HP bar. But it's like, that actually, their health actually goes down rather fast <laughs> compared to, like... And I think it's the same shit, too. Like, I think it's, like, six hits, right? Like, from the early parts? Like, because that, that, I'm pretty sure that was still six, although they might have gotten hit by a gravity or something. Oh, shit! That's okay. Not this time. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I don't like it. Why is this fight, like, actual ass? Fire! Fire! Oh, I didn't do a second. I'm, I'm El Stupido. Oh, the greed. Oh my god, that was so dangerous, but I'm I'm cool, so I got away with it. <laughs> not that it even matters, because I'm not doing a run, but don't do that. That is way too aggro. Okay, so that seems to... Ooh, item. Yay, and now I can't get it because it despawns because that's cool programming, I guess. Oh, I didn't send him to use his uh, items immediately. Uh, okay, well, I mean, that's fine. And th that's that's kind of the reason why we set his AI to do that. So that, like, when I actually run out of MP, like, I'm not completely screwed, so... Easy. Alright. I say easy as I had like a really, really rough time with that room, honestly. No Mega Ether drops, huh? That's too bad. Are you serious? Oh, this is so dumb. Throw the item, please. You see, man? This is why it's really important that you, uh... There we go, now he'll throw it. <laughs> this is why it's really important to send your party member's AI to actually throw stuff. God, that's so dumb. So under two bars of HP, he starts getting all berserked and wacko. Should be, like, right around now. Please? Maybe? No? What is your problem, dude? You should be in next phase by now. 
Thank you. How's the game? The game is, uh, interesting. Like, there's, a, uh, Like, what's crazy? Uh, I learned stuff like the second finisher on Pod Centipede does, like, no damage. <laughs> And also, uh, barrels- of, I mean, I didn't really need scan for this specifically, but uh, barrels deal damage to Herc sometimes, Hercules sometimes, and other times they don't do anything. I don't know what's up with that. Could use that Mega Elixir right about now, dude. Or not. Oh, Donald's dead, that's why I didn't get it. Once you run the game for long enough, you can just kind of intermingle between dicking around and still being- Oh, thanks for the Mega Elixir, dude, I appreciate that. Should I do, like, some really stupid meme thing for this, or... I don't know. <laughs> now, let's do fast dance in practice, because what, what, what else am I gonna do here, honestly? Are you serious? You know what? I'm not scared, man. Bring it on. <laughs> oh, Shiza. Ah, fuck! <laughs> no! What do you mean? That's why I don't do Fast Ansem, unless it's a make or break, because it's really inconsistent. And I'm bad, so... Are you fucking serious? You don't just, like, throw that volleyball in my face, dude. Thank you. <laughs> ah! Oh, that was, that was freaky. I heard I, he, Billy Zane was talking to me after I died. Dude, if that's the case, I can't wait to die. <laughs> you know what, man? Fuck it. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for this. I guess we're not practicing Fast Ansem, because I'm, I'm terrible at video games. Oh my god, this- <laughs> what is this when it's in first person? Holy shit. That's interesting. <laughs> what is happening? Ansem's DM is trying to magnet me towards that area, but because literally the entire ship is in front of me, Sora can't phase through solid matter. So Sora just kind of gets awkwardly stuck throughout that entire desperation move, and it's a nice little hiding spot. Bye bye. What? Son of a bitch. He's invincible even after he's dead. You can't guard after you're dead. That's that's nonsense. Anyway, I said I would bring you guys a little special treat. Let's go to Olympus Coliseum really quick. Let's do some Cephy. Ice Titan, nah, dude. We're not doing Ice Titan. In order to do, in order to do Ice Titan, you have to do Bill Cup, Pegasus Cup, Hercules Cup, and Hades Cup, and then you actually get the fight itself. Sora's blank expression really uh, solidifies this whole like cutscene right here. <laughs> it's Lance Bass. JJ practice. Because I mean, we're gonna be doing some JJ in the near future anyway, man. Why not? Actually, hang on. <laughs> I want him to do something. Like, I want him to swing towards me. And now I think if I click restart... No, he doesn't do it. Uh, I, I know how this works. Uh, I want him to uh, do a jump towards me. Jump towards me, motherfucker, because th this is like really silly if he actually does it. I just want to show off a really stupid thing, and the game doesn't want me to be stupid. It wants me to- it wants me to be- wants- Yeah. Just jump! Please. I, I want you to jump so I can do the weird thing. Dude, I just want him to jump! Just jump in me! What is so difficult about this premise? There he goes. <laughs> uh, I was trying to I was trying to show that thing. He's like <laughs> just like rocking out in midair. There you go. Okay. Now we can actually try to fight this dude. I, it's even better if he if he jumps like <laughs> I, I need to stop doing this. <laughs> okay, there okay, now that that's what I wanted to see. He's like he's like doing squats <laughs> like like super fast. Okay, now let's actually fight this dude, which is like the main reason I came over here. Pretty decent damage, to be honest. Like, as weird as it sounds, I almost want to compare that to like, beginner mode damage. Like, obviously not quite, but I mean, it's up there. Like, for just like a normal three hit combo, man, that's actually taking away a decent amount of health every time I get in there. What the hell does he say during that? I know Lance Bass is like infamous for like having lines like not ever being able to be heard by like human beings. But I have no idea what this dude is talking about. Time to die? <laughs> no, they can't say die in my human rescue. Actually, apparently they can because uh, they've been referencing the term death a lot in recent uh, entries, which is a little spooky to be honest. <laughs> Time to cry. I don't know where. Okay. Uh, I had a feeling, man, I wasn't sure, though. Oh, you motherfucker! Okay, I thought I was gonna die there, that's fine. 
What the fuck are you saying? What? What did he say right there? I have no idea. I know he says dodge this there, obviously. But... I just dodged right into that fire pillar thing. Had a feeling I went in too early. My bad. A double meteor, man. Wow. I'm washed up. I think when, uh, what's it called? Like, what, let's, let me hear this. What are you afraid of? That is true power. But my goodness, dude, how, like, how did these lines get, like, passed? I don't understand. I've been so preoccupied by Sephiroth's voice lines by, by uh, Lance Bass, I didn't even pay attention to the health bar in that fight. Ooh, okay, well, memes aside, first try. <laughs> And yet Sora's blank expression, he's like, mm, he's flying and he's dying. Now, now I am crying because he beat me up. Sora obtained one winged angel, the legendary Keyblade, and Ansem's Report 12, the legendary piece of paper. <laughs> so that was interesting. Uh, there's still probably several things for me to look into in more detail, but the basis of what I wanted to get done today I have achieved, so I am pretty satisfied with that. Anyway... I think I am going to take a little break, and I am going to be done for now. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and you guys have a fantastic night. I'll see you again shortly.